Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Today, I'm going to get into some tips that made me a better Siege player and how you can start using these tips in your playstyle and life habits right now, today. While some of these tips may not seem as important as the other ones in this list, I promise they all go hand in hand in making you a better Siege player and in other games as well, not just this one. So without further ado, kick back and watch how to stop being cheeks at Siege. Number 1. Hydration. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I bet some of you are laughing at me right now with your G Fuel or your soda or your fucking juice in your hand. But while you're crashing in a few hours from all that soda, hindering your decision making, hindering your playmaking, I'll be here baselining on water being fine. I promise you, if you drink a lot of sugar in your game sessions, you will crash later and it does fuck you up because it's happened to me. It'll happen to you, it happens to everybody. Replace your drinking with water. If you drink water while you play your game, you will play better. And it's not just some placebo. I feel a lot better when I drink water. These are tips that have helped me. I'm giving you these tips. Drink water between like either, either every round or every game. Take a fat sip of water. Just, just do like it and do it and do it and you will feel better, I promise you. Okay, I know, Number I know two, you had a ping breaks. Order, but still, that was fucking So, that I'm was gonna break this I down into three break. sections. Short breaks, long breaks, <laughs> Dude, and perma breaks. Yes, yes, I know, it's, it's very complicated, but when I first started to play ranked, I made sure to wait like five or ten minutes after a match, like VOD reviewing, or just sitting there, eating a banana, drinking water. Just taking a break, learning what I did wrong last, last game or last round. And I urge everyone to work this into their game routine as it you will yield huge benefits from it. Next one is the long break, such as like you're playing like shit game after game. You don't know what you're doing wrong, so you just hop off for the day. That's fine. No point in tilting your face off when you could take a break and reflect on what you did wrong. And just go back, reflect, fix it. The third one is perma breaks. And it is what it sounds like. You just, <laughs> you just, you just don't come back. And I, I had this problem in Fortnite where I wouldn't be happy after I hopped off games. The reason why I play games is to make myself happy. I find value in playing games. It helps me get through my day. And I would just find myself getting angry at the end of every game session. So I just quit the game altogether. And this isn't the only reason why I quit, but that's for another video. Tip three, uh, sleep. Yeah, um, getting a lot of sleep is very important. Staying up till 4 a.m. is not a good idea whatsoever, even though I'm guilty of it. I'm I'm pretty sure we all are, like, here and there, or, like, just, it's, don't, don't do it. I used to have a terrible sleeping schedule. I would wake up in the middle of the day, would not recommend it. It's terrible. But setting a solid sleep routine will make sure that your body gets the energy it needs to hold the fucking angles all day tomorrow so please get your five to six maybe seven to eight hours wake up and dominate i promise you waking up after a full night's rest hopping on siege there's nothing like it absolutely nothing like it it's fucking wonderful anyway guys thank you so much for stopping by if you made it this far in the video i absolutely love you if you like this video don't forget to leave a like Subscribe if you want to see more. I upload to this channel every single week. We're doing it every single week. Anyway, everyone, don't forget to have an amazing day. I love you all. Peace.